Greetings. Welcome to day 32. I didn't do a video yesterday, sorry. I had kind of a, a late night and decided not to do a video last night, so I'm going to do another combo video. Today I'm going to talk about upgrading. Upgrading your instrument, upgrading your bow, upgrading your attitude, upgrading your skills, left hand, right hand, upgrading a piece, bringing it to the next level. I'd like to thank Pam Devonport for using that term uh, a lot. I like using it too. Um, bow hold. Let's say you've got cave person good bow hold. We want to upgrade that to a better bow hold. Bent thumb, so important. Upgrading uh, a piece of music. Let's say you were working on... to finger nose. But today was a big day for upgrading instruments. Uh, there was a music store in Sioux Falls that was, uh, had brought in a lot of special bows and instruments and, and people to help help people check out. And I got to see a lot of my students there and it was really neat to, uh, to just spontaneously, hello, how you doing? Glad you came down. I just happened to be here for an hour on my lunch break because I want to try out some things too. It was really wonderful. And I have some students that have been able to discover the difference of the instrument they started on and what the world out there can be. Um, but my basic advice for upgrading an instrument is buy only what you need. Um, it'd be nice to have Yo-Yo Ma's cello or some nice Montagnana or a, a Guarneri or some, some exceptionally old instrument. Uh, but of course, they're very expensive to upkeep. And, and when you're a, a middle school music teacher, you certainly can't afford that. And if you're just a student, then there's no way we're going to afford that. But um, when you get a chance to test it out, it's really neat to see the difference between your instrument and the potential instrument that you could own. And then to learn that you kind of have to find a bow that's the soulmate for your instrument, you know, an in a bow that works with your instrument. And it might not be that the sticker price that's a lot more for a nicer bow is the bow you want. It might just be that you like that $300 bow instead of that $3,000 bow. You might like that $1,000 instrument better than a $2,000 instrument. But in general, there are big differences and some of the price points. And you ought to experience those a little bit by playing instruments. Um, because sometimes that $5,000 instrument doesn't feel as good in your hands as a, as a differently priced instrument. So I encourage you to go out there and try out instruments. Try out your friend's instrument. Try out your neighbor's instrument. Um, play your teacher's instrument. Have your teacher play your instrument. Because uh, sometimes we get a little stuck with what we've got and it's time to change it up and see what else is out there and help uh, help keep the experience going by upgrading the music that we're playing, the instruments we're playing, the bow we're using, or uh, just how we play the instrument. Or sometimes it's just how we're thinking. Well, good luck out there with upgrading your attitude and your playing. It comes through practice. If today's day one, great job. If it's day two, even better. And after that, just keep it going. Good luck.